Hello folks, this is Ryan the Tech Guy, and today we are going to discuss how to map a network drive in Windows 10. Uh, mapping a network drive is really convenient. It's essentially like creating a shortcut to a network location. Uh, this can be used for a variety of things, just if you have a, a network location where you share things and you want to have a shortcut to it. Some programs require that um, their database be linked via a network drive, so you'd have to map the network drive yourself and then go ahead and link that depending on the program. So uh, let's get right to it. You want to uh, somehow get to this PC by the shortcut or by the file explorer shortcut or any way. And then once you're at this PC, you can click on the computer at the top. And then you can click on the map network drive button. And this is essentially going to bring up this window, which allows you to select a drive letter to correspond to that network drive. It's going to only give you the open ones. You can select whichever you want. In this case, I'm going to select X. And then you just browse to wherever that location is. So uh, if I was doing it for just this computer, I could look on uh, my PC and then we'll browse, we'll map this public folder as the network drive. Press OK. You can. Um, Customize the login credentials. The reconnected sign-on means that as soon as you boot the computer up, it will be connected to this drive. So that's default on. Just click finish. And now it's gone ahead and mapped the public folder on my computer as drive X and give it a network location. So you can see then when you're in, uh, when you go to my PC, if I open up the network locations, you can see that I have now drive X down here and it is a mapped drive of the uh, folder that I selected. So um, mapping a network drive is essentially like creating a network shortcut. I hope you found this video helpful and see you next time.